Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 31st going to the 6th of November. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you guys. I'm going to pull the cards out first like usual and then I will go in and explain everything. Okay, let's see. Let's have a little look and see please for Aries. I don't know if anyone's listening to Rihanna, all of a sudden, like, Kiss It Better is coming up in my head. I just want to sing along. Okay, let's see. I like this. I think you're feeling a lot better about yourself. This is nice. Um, You guys could be getting a lot of compliments at this time to do with your work, to do with you, like, as a person, like something that you had some insecurities about or kind of was unsure and certain about because you might be new to something might be new to a certain industry a certain skill a certain hobby certain relationships whatever it is like maybe even like a group of people like there is um an element coming through here of where you're going to feel very uh, self-assured by the end of the week your self-esteem is going to be going up here which is nice that is one of your cards coming through and it says i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others so whatever you're doing as part of a group dynamic even if it's like what you do for the family like there is a lot more um yeah there's a lot more kind-hearted uh, compliments coming through for you which is really nice to see okay let me carry on pulling out the rest though and then we'll talk about it for aries Current energy, please, for Aries. Some of you, like, might be, like, going down in size, like, in terms of... I mean, that could be, like, very general. That could be a message there in itself. Like, you could be downsizing in your home. Or, again, I feel like maybe your clothes are becoming looser. Like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you. But here we go. That's a message coming in. Okay, you actually have a lot of contemplation coming through in your current energy. Like, it is a sense of achievement coming through in your reading and within this week, which is really good. But there is, and I do see a bonus, I do see some compliments, I do see you receiving something, which is nice. Uh, I also see you giving to others. So, you finally, you're receiving back what you give to others. Like, I feel like you're very, you compliment people a lot, or you're like, you're very, like, motivational to be towards people towards people there we go <laughs> um, you're finally going to be getting that back but we have to be open to the compliments areas i feel like you're very quick to push them away like oh no no i didn't do anything don't do that go oh thank you very much i'm glad you noticed like i think that there needs to be that boost coming back within you because i do see a lot to do with connections with people you could be invited out a lot more for some of you as well like there could be a lot more um attention around you because people are starting to see you but you need to see you first, okay, uh, before, you know, otherwise we're not accepting of it, because we do have the four of cups, which is kind of this energy of like, mm, I don't think I'll go out today, or I don't think I'll do this with this person, or take this opportunity, because I still have all this to do, and Spirit's saying be careful of that, you don't want to reject a really good opportunity, and that's what the four of cups is about, ooh, my posture, maybe you guys need to sort that out too, just realize I was slouching, there we go. This is my favorite position on, on YouTube. <laughs> Just having my leg up comfortably. Your current energy coming through, very Capricorn style. There's a lot of hard work that you guys have been dealing with. I think you're still in a process of learning something or following someone's footsteps or again, having to deal with something. I'm kind of seeing like structure involved here. So like you're following something like instructions or like again, someone else's like rules <laughs> i see that there's a lot of work ahead with the seven of pentacles you've been dealing with a lot of work but there is a need to not give up right okay don't let your mind play tricks on you here with the four of cups either um and six of pentacles is you getting recognition for that as well which is really nice to see um let's see what the blockages are this came up for libra and it was a very interesting one because six of wands coming up in reverses again especially with the messages that we just had, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of support and a lot of, you know, a good support system. I really like this, a lot of compliments, a lot of admirers. But again, there's, like we said in the beginning, like you have achieved a lot, but it's almost like you're not seeing it yourself or you're not putting yourself up on that pedestal. Not in a sense, like, yeah, I feel like you're not accepting compliments, you're not accepting the fact that you've achieved a lot. So we need to look at that. Look at everything you've done, okay? Clarify this.
again it does feel like it's because you're new to something here because the blockage is the page of pentacles and that's my card for like putting your foot forward into something so we also have the six of cups coming in as well which is interesting you have some very like this week Aries, how can I put this? Let me just really stare at this for a second and try to pinpoint what this is trying to tell me. Because Six of Cups, again, like a lot of soulmates. There's a lot of giving and receiving coming through here. Page of Pentacles, understanding that you have a gift. For a lot of you, you have to understand that you carry a lot of value. Like, And you're still learning. I think you're not even at your peak yet, by the way. Judgment, again, maybe this is the blockage here is the fact that you're not really seeing clearly despite what everyone else is saying about you i feel like there's a need to believe it within yourself ten of wands underneath this is a need to let go of some subconscious inner dialogue here maybe that's what it is there's a blockage here when it comes down to how you see yourself that's all so judgment is a, a lesson here it's always about a lesson before we can move on to the next chapter here. And it does feel like something, a wish fulfillment of yours is coming true, which is nice. Did I show you the first card? We have by the book, which is where I can see that we're following the first steps of something here. We're trying to follow, not the status quo, but you're following something here. I always say that we're the baby elephant here on this card whenever I'm reading for someone, which means that you're being led by others, you're following others, you're being inspired by others, or people are teaching you at this time. Even if it's just your spirit guides, you're being led somewhere. Then we have time for a nap, which is towards a goal. This is almost like a part two of one of the other cards in the Oracle deck about, you know, we, at first we have Observer, which is looking at where we want to go. So you've done that. You do have goals in mind. And the time for a nap is that you've achieved something that you've asked for. So give yourself a pat on the back here. Time for a nap means you can rest easy. Even though there's other things you have to do, Aries, make sure you're also appreciating what you've already done. And we have message in the bottle here. So this is where I can see that we're getting a lot of messages in terms of this could be a past person here as well um but i'm seeing because we have the six of cups here in page of pentacles could be an earth sign taurus Virgo, capricorn um but this is more of a sense of yeah maybe it's like an old friend that's complimenting you or old, old friend coming back here and like supporting you as well by the way like yeah i like that maybe like childhood friend like old school friends could be popping up here to congratulate you of some kind Um, but the message in the bottle is also, again, I feel like you're receiving something here. And the compliments. Anything else for Aries? Oof. <laughs> I always say that. Um, only because it feels like your emotions here are a little bit tied to some people who didn't have the best of opinion of you. There's a feeling, and this feels subconscious maybe, and this is probably why this is coming up. Um, be careful of any water signs or Capricorns around you here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but only because there's someone here with a victim mindset. This could be you, but again, take it as you wish here. Um kind of feeling in the lack that's what it is and this is why i was saying this could potentially be you and again it's not meaning that you're calling yourself a victim of any kind it doesn't mean anything like that what i mean is that there's a lack mindset always feeling like you're at a loss when actually i can see that you've gained a lot and i think that we need some credit here but this could be another person in your surroundings if that's the case then again be aware of this someone could really just be reaching out to you to like vent but not really ever ask you how you're feeling like it's Maybe that's the energy coming through here. Be careful because with the Queen of Cups, you're also very like, you can absorb other people's energies here, especially their emotions. So if a lot of people are coming to you all the time with this kind of toxic energy, especially if it's about their relationships or, you know, something that they keep putting themselves in. All right, for some of you, this is a message here. You have to just maybe try to create some distance with this person here and protect your emotions because it does feel like it's dragging you down for others of you this could be you make sure that we're not in a cycle with someone that we know is causing us unhappiness this is where we also need detachment because the devil energy is feeling tied to something and it's feeling tied to a lack here something that's not giving us what we need um so yeah there we go nice 
anyways what you can't see coming here especially with the high priestess is this is what's unknown but it's always in the script that she has in front of her is celebration success recognition you're gaining a goal you're gaining a goal you're achieving a goal six of pentacles is something that you might have been working on behind the scenes here this was probably why the high priestess is here again someone could be working behind the scenes to celebrate you actually some of you could have a surprise party some of you could have like um i'm just seeing like there's some like or even if you're going to an event you could be winning an award or something here because i'm seeing that there's well the four of wands and the three of pentacles it's like something that was worked on behind the scenes is being celebrated now something that's been worked on and been planned and structured is achieving something and yeah, some of you, this will come as a surprise to you, which is really nice to see. Yeah, definitely some sort of reward and recognition with the Page of Wands. We like to see it. I'm going to pull you out a tea leaf tarot as well. Bowl, plenty of material things. Great, you guys could be receiving gifts. We have mice, discord among, among friends or family. That could be what this toxic energy is, by the way. Be careful of that. Again, protect your emotions. If you're not involved in anything and someone's trying to get you involved, try to set this one out. Like, yeah, be careful of this. Family sorrow. So yeah, for some of you, this could be family members here. Okay, be careful of this. There's just a lot of discord here. Anything else? Whoa. Whoa. All right, well, we have November coming through, so a very significant time of where we're being asked to, oh, we're playing a different role, pay attention to your work. So some of you might be getting promoted or again, gaining some new responsibilities or a new role coming through in terms of your work here, which is nice. It feels like because of the hard work you've been doing here, so it's all good uh, for you. And November is definitely your pri prioritizing yourself here. So again, be careful of other people, especially if there is some discord in the family and, and some difficulties there. Um, should I look into that just a little bit? I have the cups. I was actually looking at the fact that the devil has its hand up and it's like for holding the five. We had the five pentacles and then the five of cups came through. Yeah, there's some disappointments here. This is some unhappiness in the family or amongst the your external surroundings. Okay, so just pay attention to this. The devil energy is just telling me this is not the first time, though. And also, and the moon. So the, all of these are really suggesting, again, like, this is a problem that doesn't need to be a problem. Like, there is a solution here, whether it's someone needs to get out of their relationship. This is not to do with you, by the way, unless it, it is. <laughs> but for, for the majority of you, I see this being external to you. Um... This is like, there's like, with the moon as well, it's almost like there's illusions here. Like someone's a bit like deluded, like you, you can get out of this. That's what the devil card tricks you into thinking you're stuck when you're not stuck. Someone's paying attention more to the negative things in life. Like someone's really going through it here. They will reach the other end of this, by the way. They just need to let go of something. Now, you might be a bit of a counselor to this person with the Queen of Cups. And I, I think your heart is involved in this because you care about this person who's going through it. But it's almost like they have to do this themselves here. That's what I'm seeing. Like this person needs to go through, not go through this themselves. It's good to be someone's support system here, but not when they're heavily re relying on you to a point of where it's affecting your health. You know, Queen of Cups is very good because she's very empathic. She is a counselor here. She is someone who, who understands emotions and can help other people with this. But someone is kind of, again, it's a loop here. And I keep seeing that. Okay, so just pay attention to this. They are going to get better, don't worry. But sometimes they have to do it by themselves here. You know, like, you can't rescue people. That's something I've been learning. All right. And it's actually not good to rescue people because they don't learn the lessons that they need to learn. And also they become dependent on people here. So just be, and in this case, it might be you. Okay, so just be careful of this, all right? Okay, Aries, I love you guys. I wish you all the best and I hope to hear from you guys soon, okay?